Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we've got part two of the SJR CZ5. So you might have seen a few weeks ago I reviewed the F11, which is its big brother with the brushless motors. And I've done a part one on this, the unboxing and went to the app and everything. So what my conclusion is this, this thing flies amazingly well. It's another winner, absolute winner. This thing is so nice to fly, so smooth to fly. It's got the typical characteristics you'd expect from a cheap GPS drone. So it will drop altitude on turns and then recover. Now, it's not an issue if you're 30, 40 foot in the air anyway. You're never going to notice it in a million years. If you fly it low down, just remember that you might need to put some throttle into the turns. It's standard on the cheaper GPS drones, in my opinion. The parameters inside aren't quite, aren't quite the same as they are on all the expensive drones, but nothing to be to bother about at all. The controller feels really nice in your hand. Uh, don't bother phoning you and turning it up because they are fake, but the controller does feel really nice in your hand. The resolution is good. It feels very nice to, to fly and you, you're in control of the craft at all times. I like it more because obviously I can change it to mode one. So the camera. So the camera is the same camera, I believe anyway. So it's got the 5G camera. I believe it's the same camera that's in the F11. It doesn't look as sharp because it, you get a slight bit of yellow and that's because it's got brushless motors. Brushed motors, sorry, because you're never going to get the smoothness you do through the brushless motor which is going to cause slight jello and also can cause a bit of artifacts on your screen you're going to see the video make your own mind up uh, these things are never going to have the best camera you're never going to get the quality of the expensive drones out of one of these i tried the modes they all seem to work some follow me mode works like it does it's never the best on these cheaper drones everything seems to work as it does i got 11 minutes flight time out of it it was about six degrees outside probably going to get a bit better in the summer but it's adequate if you, the only thing i would say if you buy one of these i'd buy the pack with the extra battery because there isn't that much of so probably five or six quid more with another battery and you, it certainly is that good fun to fly that i would definitely recommend getting it with more batteries so everything works as it should have done you're going to see in the video that's coming up at the end of this, you're going to see some flight footage, you're going to see some footage from the drone, you're going to see some footage from the app so you can see it doesn't break up. I think I haven't flown it more than 100, I think I went 150, 160 metres today with it at most and I had no issues. The return to home was excellent, it came, you'll see on the video it came back very close, I took off from a bench and it landed, I stopped it before because it would have clipped the bench that it was coming down because it wouldn't have landed on it. Um, I forgot my mat today, but yeah. The return to home was really good, fantastic. And as I say, the video footage to me is more than adequate for the drone. You can, if you wanted to do, put something else on top, like with a different camera, maybe a Mobius or something on the top, because I believe it'll, it'll definitely pull it. There's definitely enough power there. It doesn't seem to lack on power. Very stable in the hover when you take off. The take automatic take off and landing button works absolutely fine. I have flown this indoors. I haven't, I'm not going to show you on the video because I didn't bother recording it. But if you hold this button in, you can take the GPS mode off and fly it indoors. Uh, but remember, there's no optical flow on this, so you've still got to control it. But it does fly indoors well enough. The camera in low light is not brilliant, as you can imagine. It's not brilliant at all. So your speed button works fine, the angle of the camera seems to work fine, it moves up and down as it should. So like I say, I've had no issue with it whatsoever, I can highly recommend it. The speed wise, it isn't, you're not going to notice something massive, in low it's, it's slow, but even in fast it's not ridiculously quick, it, but it's good to fly, it's fun to fly. I think at the end of the video you're going to see me whipping it round quite low and I think I was in like the mid speed at that point. But changing the speed mode won't matter to the way it flies, it doesn't drop any further into turns like sometimes you can do when you're flying at a higher speed, it doesn't seem to have any nasty characteristics and I think that's because the speed modes aren't very severe so it, there's not a massive difference between them. So your resolution of the sticks is going to remain pretty much the same throughout the speed mode. They haven't just upped the rates ridiculously high to try and get it faster. So, yes, definite winner for me. I'm on a bit of a roll at the minute. I've had a few good ones. So, yeah, fantastic drone. There's various places. Shop around, see what you can pick it up for. They're up and down like you. Someone always seems to have this on a flash sale. You will certainly should be able to get it for under 80 quid with a one battery. You might even get two batteries for 80 quid. And you can obviously buy it in white and black. I just chose white for something different. 
but couldn't recommend this higher. Thanks ever so much for watching, enjoy the video, it's coming up and have a fantastic day. So let's kick off and let's see how it flies. And the motors. And then let's try the auto take off and land button. I expected it's quite stable in the air, like the F11 was. Obviously this is a brush drone, so there's going to be a difference. Still got the 1080p camera on the top. So as you can see, yeah, nice into the hover there, isn't it? So let's fly it out a bit. Dropped a bit of height. Just gonna remember it'll drop a bit of height into the turn. Give it a bit of throttle when you come into your turns. But yeah, flies really nice as I expected it would. Very happy with the flight. Okay, so let's start the camera. So we'll use the button on the top. The beeping noise is because it's recording to the SD card, so you're gonna have to put up with that unfortunately because I don't want to do it the other way. So let's see what the flight footage looks like on it. Tilt that camera up a little bit. A bit low is the camera. Let's get some height. Really smooth flyer. Okay, let's see if we can get some good footage. Now remember, this hasn't got a stabilised gimbal or anything, so the footage you're going to get is going to be unstabilised, so you're going to get some shake in there. Take it up a little bit. But yeah, flies really, really smooth. I thought it was going to be a smooth flyer. The question will be how good does the camera look? More than how well it flies. I didn't expect it to fly any different than this, to be honest. Yeah, very, very smooth flyer. So this is the video footage taken directly from the SD card. As you can see, there's a, it lacks sharpness, but it is a very grey day, so you'll have to give it a bit of dew on that. And also there's a lot of vibration coming through the craft. It's got no stabilised gimbal. But it's more than adequate for the price of the drone, I think. And it does give off some quite even colours. The sky looks quite blue because it was, but if you look down below, it's very dull down on the ground level and that's why you're struggling to pick out detail in the grass etc but yeah not bad for the money
So this is the return to home. So as you can see, I hit the return to home. It went up to its designated height. Now it's coming back down again. So you're going to see when it gets near the ground. Yeah, I set off on the bench. You probably remember at the start of the video. And I am going to stop it before it hits because it's going to hit the floor just in front of the bench and it's a muddy day out there. But as you can see, more than adequate return to home. Really, really nice. 